Sleep is a vital part of life, helping to regulate bodily processes such as respiration, circulation, growth and the immune system. But also, sleep plays a key role in boosting mental processes such as emotional regulation and the consolidation of memory which helps us to learn new skills. In short, sleep is a fundamental process that keeps us happy and healthy. And that is why it is of particular importance to help those who are not managing to regularly get good quality and quantity of sleep. After stroke or brain injury, survivors commonly experience problems with sleep. One study reported that nearly half of stroke survivors experience difficulty with their sleep. Although problems with sleep are commonly mentioned by people with brain injury, both in the hospital and at home, there is not a great deal of research exploring how sleep may be affected after stroke or brain injury. Our group at the Wellcome Centre for Integrative Neuroimaging is currently researching sleep after stroke and brain injury with the aim of identifying whether people with stroke and brain injury are sleeping worse than those who have not had brain injury, exploring whether sleep quality affects how well people recover, investigating whether a current online sleep improvement program is feasibly usable by stroke survivors, studying whether an online sleep improvement program is effective for stroke survivors who are living in the community, and creating new sleep treatments for brain injury and stroke survivors in hospital wards and rehabilitation units. To investigate our first two aims, we ran a study where we measured sleep quality in a group of people who were receiving rehabilitation in hospital after stroke or brain injury, a group of stroke survivors living in the community, and a group of people who had not had a brain injury. We found that, on average, stroke and brain injury survivors had more disrupted sleep and spent more time awake during the night when compared to those who had not had a stroke or brain injury. We also found that people who had better, more continuous sleep recovered more quickly during rehabilitation. You can find a full overview of this study and its results on our webpage. The third aim, to investigate whether current treatments for sleep improvement are feasible for stroke survivors, was recently completed. We are still completing the analysis of this data and hope to have it available for you shortly. However, generally it seems that many stroke survivors are able to utilise the programme in its current form, and with a bit of extra information provided, this can be increased to an even wider group of stroke survivors. Therefore, we are now investigating whether this online sleep improvement program can help stroke survivors improve their sleep. This study involves taking measures of sleep using sleep monitoring wristwatches and questionnaires before and after participants undergo the sleep intervention. This is an ongoing piece of research and can be completed entirely remotely at home. We are currently looking for more stroke survivors who want to improve their sleep to participate so if you would be interested in taking part, you can email us at sleep at fimrib.ox.ac.uk. If you have any questions about our research or want to find out how you can take part, check out our webpage for a full list of our past and current research. Or alternatively, email us at sleep at fimrib.ox.ac.uk. Sleep well.